Hello! The pen we have to check out today is a Mont Blanc 221. So, let's take a look at it. It is a nice deep green resin On either side, we have the traditional Mont Blanc symbol. Flush on this side and almost like an embedded or embossed um, Mont Blanc star there. I really like this band and the taper that it has and the singular band. I love the clip. I like that it has those really distinct angles to them. It'd be nice if this green was a little bit more distinguished, but uh, noticeably green. That is not so quite so dark. And it's a piston filler, so this would twist. Excellent feature about this. Oh, by the way, it says 221. Mont Blanc. It is a snap or pull cap. Very satisfying click. And what I like about this a lot and the usability um, part of it is it makes it very comfortable. There's a bit of a step here um, and those little um, I don't know, bands that it clips into, but I, the grip section is so long that I never feel them. So I like that you can grip it low, medium, high, and it, at least for myself, it does not bother me whatsoever. Uh, quite, a, this is a vintage, so quite a petite pen. Um, nearing the pocket size, I've written, written with it, both posted and unposted, and I actually prefer posted. It's very light, and the length works well when it's posted, I think. Uh, let's take a look at that nib. 585, which is 14 carats. I like the triangular cutouts along the nib into the resin there. I think that's very unique. And check out this nib. Let me see how close I can get it in focus. Maybe about there. It is... There we go. Do you see that that point there, how it's curved, that's very unique. And we'll see in the writing sample what that can accomplish. Quite a soft nib. Not flexy at all, but it has softness and bounce. And look at the silhouette of this feed. Perfectly smooth plastic feed. Very small profile, so it looks pretty sleek. I won't uh, demonstrate this, but this unscrews and you have access into the piston reservoir. So you could actually fill it through the nib or through the access point here, which also makes it very easy to flush out the nib. So very, very easy to clean because you can also flush water um, into the reservoir there so that you wouldn't have to continuously manually operate the uh, piston filler here. So you can just open it all the way out, flush it out on both ends and that makes the cleaning very, very easy. All right, next we'll talk about what this is inked up with. All right, here's a ink swatch of Sailor Kobe number 34 
Saracuin Tea Green. Nice shading, quite saturated. Um, really like this ink. It writes beautifully, it flows beautifully, and I love the color. I have checked out a lot of greens, but I really like this hue. It remind maybe because it reminds me of matcha, <laughs> but it's um, quickly became a favorite. I got this in a sample vial, so I don't have the bottle to show, but um, this is the ink swatch and I'll be putting it to paper with the Mont Blanc. This is a 14 karat fine. And the fine is quite generous. Um, lately when I've been starting off with this nib, it starts almost like overly wet. So I'm just gonna dab it off a little bit so that you can get a truer uh, representation of what this pen actually writes like. That's more realistic. Now I feel like I would probably prefer an extra fine um, with this particular pen. I think part of it might be that I'm becoming more accustomed to extra fines, but also um, it is a German nib, right? And it's quite, quite wet. So I think all those things come into play on how this works out. So pretty, pretty wet. So smooth. This is easily one of the smoothest pens I have. So I was talking about that angle um, on, the, on the tip of the nib there, see? So if you write with the pen um, more at a higher angle, and then more of a medium. And low angle. I see the biggest difference in the the high angle, I would say for sure. But um, and the reverse writing is kind of scratchy, but it actually does flow. Probably not for long. I can feel it getting dried out already. So there's that. Let's do some. Just kind of showing the ink flow there and some of these. So if I put some pressure on this nib, it will get wetter. And I don't know if you can see the nib actually bending much there, but it does. If I could get a side view, it has a lot of bounce. So even when you're writing, it makes for a very, not only because the nib is extremely smooth, but also because um, the ink flow, but it's a very smooth writer.
All right, I think that's all I've uh, got on this Mont Blanc. There we go. And I've seen these come in a lot of different nib sizes too and um, colors. It's kind of refreshing to see some Mont Blancs with some color. The burgundy one's gorgeous. So there it is.